We need to talk about your limiting beliefs and how they're affecting you more than you think. Hey, my name is Andre. I live with cerebral palsy and I'm on a 12 month journey to challenge my fears and limiting beliefs. I'm documenting the process on YouTube to remind myself and inspire you to do the same. Now, before we can start talking about limiting beliefs, I wanna make sure that you and I have the same definition. According to the internet, limiting beliefs are thoughts or opinions that we negatively hold and believe to be absolutely true. They're stopping us from doing things and growing in directions that we would like to grow. An example or the big ones that a lot of people talk about is, I can't get a promotion at my job. I can't get a college degree or for some of us out there, I can't dance. What I wanna focus on in this video is showing you how actually the smaller limiting beliefs that we hold in our everyday lives are the ones feeding into those bigger ones. I'm gonna be using my own limiting beliefs as an example for that. So let's start. One of my biggest limiting beliefs over the last couple of years was that I can't live on my own. It's the one that I'm actually working on right now in this journey to challenge. When we break it down into those smaller limiting beliefs, those things that are giving that bigger limiting belief power, we're looking at sentences that I tell myself that sound like this. I can't wash clothes because of my disability. I can't walk downstairs because of my disability. I can't go shopping because of my disability. And as a result, it's feeding into myself giving away control of my life and feeding into this limiting belief, letting it lead the decisions that I make. The cost of that limiting belief and those smaller ones that I've been holding on in my life had a mental cost and a physical cost as well as a financial cost. The mental cost was that I slowly and surely fell further into helplessness and started distracting myself from life by watching a lot of TV, by not going out with friends. The real physical impact that I had was that I had to hire someone to come help me clean. I had to hire someone to help me cook. Then they would come once a week and they would help me figure out all these things that I believed that I couldn't do. And they would do them for me. What led to the problem was that when these people were sick or unable to come or attend to me, I would be sitting around with stinky clothes in a messy apartment, making me embarrassed to exist and feel completely helpless and dependent in the situation. The financial cost was also insane looking at it, Tw hindsight 2020. I spent 28,800 euros, give or take, in the last three years on someone coming by once a week, every month. That's money I could have invested in learning something new in a business in traveling, in a personal trainer for physical exercise to get better at things. But I didn't because I never allowed myself to challenge the words that I believed so dearly, the experiences that contributed to these words growing stronger. The fact that I fell down the stairs, the fact that when I did my wash, it would be difficult to hang up to dry. The fact that when I tried to cook, I cut myself or I fell with hot water. All of those experiences paid into the fact that the limiting belief was true and that there was no way for me to fix this. Now you're probably thinking, Andre, how do you break the cycle? And while I'm no expert, I've only been doing this for three months. The thing that I've learned is that we need to start with the small ones. The thing that I think about here is something that I learned from Atomic Habits a couple years back, is that our brain needs proof that something other than what we believe to be true is possible. In my case, I needed to show myself step-by-step step that things like this is possible. And that's exactly what I've been doing. I'll take the I can't wash clothes in a house that has stairs without a railing, as an example. Over the last couple of weeks, I've been trying to find ways for myself to allow, uh, to be able to wash clothes, and I finally found it. As you can see here in the B-roll, I figured out that if I put the clothes in a bag that's not gonna, instead of a basket, I can throw them down the stairs. 
I can go down those stairs by sitting down and pushing myself down. And then when I get down there, I can pick up the bag again. I can take it to the laundry. I can shove it in there. I can start it and I can get it done. Now this doesn't seem like a big uh, achievement to a lot of people out there, but what it did is it flipped a switch in my brain. It flipped the switch to questioning every situation that I'm afraid of. It flips the switch to the question, everything that I say that I can't, there must be a way because I've just proven to myself that there is a way. And that brings me to what I decided three months ago that made the biggest impact and started this journey in the first place, a decision that you can make today. And the decision was simple. For the next 12 months, I'm going to challenge everything that I say I can't or I'm too chicken to do. And it's simple to identify these in everyday life. Every time you hear your brain say, I can't, that's an opportunity to prove yourself otherwise. I've even gone so far as to call mine Stinky Steves. I'm sorry for all the Steves out there, but I just wanted to make sure that my limiting beliefs and fears have a personality that I can talk to, that I can understand, because that's how I learn in conversation. And so now all I can tell you as a takeaway is, I can tell you three months into this journey, three months into challenging myself every day, pushing my comfort zone, just eliminating one stinky Steve at a time. I feel happier, I feel calmer, I feel more in control of my life, and most of all, I feel present, excited for the next day, the next experience, the next challenge. I've even taken it so far, as you know, to start traveling to see what else what other barriers can I overcome to really design the life that I wanna live? Which by the way, if you haven't seen the videos, go check them out on my channel. I think the latest one that I released is Nashville, but go just, just, just click this one here. And I'm, but the best part is that I'm slowly but surely getting to a place where I don't push things off anymore, where I don't try to distract myself from the reality of the situation that I live in, because I know I can change everything that's within my control. And that leads me to telling you, the more I figure out, the more I will share with you. But I think it would be fun if you let me know what some of your stinky Steves are in the comments below. And I'll be rooting for you to get over them. Yes, my friend, you just watched an entire video of someone struggling to do his chores. And yes, I did this video to let you know that I can finally clean and wash my own clothes. Mom, I'm finally adulting. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.